So this is a similar size to one of the corals that we were out planting. Rachel Serafin is a senior coral biologist with the Florida Aquarium. She takes us inside a greenhouse in Apollo Beach where she is studying more than a dozen species of coral. Ceramic tiles like this one give coral a place to live. They reproduce and then biologists replenish endangered coral reefs. They've actually been taken from the ocean to be archived. So we have them in these closed systems. And with that opportunity, we're able to study these animals and actually get them to reproduce. Recently, the Florida Aquarium relocated 560 corals at an offshore reef site near Long Key, Florida, where scientists are restoring Florida's coral reef track. So the Florida reef track actually goes as far north as Port St. Lucie, all the way down past Key West, out to the dry Tortugas. And it's a pretty extensive reef system. It's the third largest in the world. Serafin says hurricanes, pollution, and disease threaten the Florida reef track. You have the reef systems, which are homes to many species of animals, fish, whether it's part of their life cycle to live on a reef or they feed from things that come from the reef. Coral biologists say so far efforts to restore the reef track have been successful, but they continue to monitor the site. Coral reefs provide a habitat for fish and provide coastal protection for communities. They also generate millions of dollars in tourism and recreation. Biologists continue to work to protect that ecosystem. In Apollo Beach, Julie Salomon, ABC Action News.